Hello everybody, welcome to Sermon on the Go. Today there is a change of plan. As you know, I have been doing a three-part series on the winning formula. And today was going to be the last episode of the winning formula. However, uh, because of Lent and because I promised that I was going to do some teaching on fasting, I want to do the teaching on fasting today and move the last episode on the winning formula to next week. So we'll have our final episode on the winning formula next Tuesday. But today I'm going to talk about fasting because fasting is a topic we hardly hear about or talk about in the church. Fasting is like adding a new horsepower onto your old car engine. There is an interesting narrative in the 17th chapter of the Gospel of Matthew. That chapter begins with the transfiguration of Jesus in the presence of three of his disciples. And as soon as they came down from that mountain, they met with the crowd and a man brought his son who was demon possessed, but the disciples were not able to cast the demon out. Then Jesus came and rebuked the demon, and the demon left the child. Then the disciples came to Jesus privately and asked him, Why could we not cast the demon out of the child? So Jesus said to them, That's because of your unbelief. For assuredly I say to you, If you have faith like a mustard seed, you can say to this mountain, Move from here to there and it shall obey you, and nothing shall be impossible for you. However, this kind of demon does not go out except by prayer and fasting. In the church's calendar, we started the season of Lent last week on the 17th of February to be precise, and I believe that you are ready, body, mind, and spirit, to fast and pray and to seek God and to know Him more during this season of Lent. The question is, what does it mean to fast? Well, fasting is refraining from eating food. The Bible describes three main forms of fasting. The normal fast, the absolute fast, and the partial fast. The normal fast involves total abstinence from food. Luke chapter 4 verses 2 reveals that Jesus ate nothing and afterwards he was hungry. Jesus abstained from food but not water. The absolute fast is found in the ninth chapter of the book of Acts where we see the apostle Paul fasting, eating nothing and drinking nothing. The abstinence of food and water seems to have lasted no more than three days. The partial fasting is found in the 10th chapter of the book of Daniel, which emphasizes the restrictions of diet rather than a complete abstinence from food and water. The contest implies that there are physical benefits resulting from a partial fast. However, we should not forget that there was revelation given to Daniel as a result of this time of fasting. Fasting is to be done with the object of seeking God in a deeper experience and drawing closer to God in a prevailing prayer. Therefore, during this Lent, as we fast and pray, remember that we are doing so in seeking God, serving Him and getting to know Him even more better. So let me give you a couple of guidelines as we start our fasting together. The first guideline is to start slowly. If you haven't done it before, if you haven't fasted before, please start slowly. If you go to church or indeed you're not part of a church or you're a part of a church community and you've never fasted before, I will recommend that you start with a partial fast. I want you to read Daniel chapter 10 verses three following. You can even read the whole chapter, Daniel chapter 10. Read that chapter 
and start with the partial fasting. What that means is that you only eat fruit and don't eat any food. For the reminder of Lent, no food. You can drink water and eat fruit. That is the partial fasting. But I want you to read Daniel chapter 10 before you start that fasting. The second guideline I want to give is the normal fasting. If you are familiar with fasting like myself and you know how to fast and you have fasted in the past, then I will recommend that you go and start on the normal fast during this Lent. What that means is that you abstain from food but not drink. So you can fast from the moment you finish brushing your teeth in the morning. You don't eat anything until six o'clock in the evening. Let me repeat that. From the moment you finish brushing your teeth in the morning, up until 1800 hours, six o'clock in the evening, you don't eat any food. You can drink water or drink orange juice or even tea or coffee, no sugar no sugar you can drink fluids water tea orange juice and any kind of fluids but if you're going to drink tea make sure there is no sugar in it and at six o'clock in the evening you can break your fast get your bible read some passages if you don't have any passage to read again i will recommend the book of proverbs Read one chapter a day during this Lent. Read one chapter of the book of Proverbs. Pray at six o'clock in the evening. And after that, you can have your meal. Again, don't eat any heavy food. But there is also a third option for those who have never done it before. If you've never fasted, if you go to church, you belong to a church, you are part of a church community, and you've never fasted before, there is a third option. You can start fasting from the moment you finish brushing your teeth up until 12 o'clock in the afternoon. You don't eat anything. You can drink fluids, orange juice, apple juice, pineapple juice, you name it. You can drink fluids, water, but you cannot eat any food from the moment you finish brushing your teeth up until 12 o'clock. At 12 o'clock, you grab your Bible, Get yourself some scriptures, read them, meditate on the scriptures, and pray. After that, you can eat. But eat light food. And for the reminder of the day, be mindful that you are in a season of fasting. And continue in that attitude of fasting. But that last option is for those who have never fasted before. So here are my three guidelines for fasting during this Lent. And whilst we are fasting during this Lent, please, 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 don't do this fasting in the way that jeopardizes your health. Please listen and take your doctor's advice. If you are under any form of medication, be mindful of your doctor's advice and follow your doctor's advice. But if you are able to join in this fasting and prayers, then please join and please remember, as we fast and pray during this Lent, we are praying for our communities. We are praying for the situation with the coronavirus. We are praying for the distribution of the vaccine. We are praying for all volunteers who are involved in the rollout of the vaccine. We are praying for the military, for the emergency services. We are praying for doctors, nurses, we are praying for the government and people in authority. For Christians, the Bible commands us to pray for our leaders. So let's pray for our leaders, leaders worldwide, every leader in your society. But particularly, let's pray for our own prime minister. As I said in my last video, in my opinion, he has done extremely well. He has been thinking on his feet and everybody involved in helping solve this coronavirus issue they have been thinking on their feet and i can guarantee you when you are thinking on your feet you are bound to make mistakes but don't let us dwell on those mistakes 
Let's dwell on the positive things that our leaders have achieved for us during this time of terrible global pandemic. They have done immensely well. So let's pray for them and their family whilst we pray for ourselves and our family as well. And above all, during this time of fasting and prayer, during this time of waiting on the Lord, please be conscious and be sensitive to what the Holy Spirit will reveal to you because I'm sure that God will reveal himself to you like he revealed himself to Daniel in the time of national crisis. God will reveal himself to you during this time of fasting and prayers. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, we thank you for this time we've had together. We thank you for this opportunity to learn about fasting and prayers. We thank you for the examples given to us in scriptures. We thank you for the example in Daniel chapter 10, Luke chapter 4, and Acts chapter 9. And so, as we fast and pray during this Lent, we pray that you reveal yourself to us. We pray that you bring an end to this global pandemic. We pray that you heal every sickness and every disease. We pray that you bring an end to this global pandemic. Heavenly Father, may your presence be made known among us as we fast and pray during this Lent. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Friends, I shall see you on Thursday. Shalom. Peace. Ha, 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 ha.